Hey my friends, welcome to Joey's Tech. In this video, I will show you how to install requests library in Visual Studio Code. I am already in the Visual Studio Code in my Mac. It would be better if you have yours opened up as well so that you can do the installation with me. So let's begin. The first step will be to create a Python project folder and open it in Visual Studio Code. To do that, I'm going to click on File and then click on Open Folder. Now, I want this folder to be created on my desktop. So over here, I'm going to create a new folder. And I will name this folder as requests underscore VS Code. I'm going to click on create. And there I have this folder created on my desktop. Now I'm going to open it. So there you go. I have the folder opened in the Visual Studio Code. And you can do the same. Now within this folder, we are going to create a file. Let's name it main.py in which we are going to write the code to test the installation of the requests library. But before that, within this folder, we are going to create a virtual environment. To do that, we are going to click on terminal and we will open a new terminal. Now in this terminal, we are going to write the command to create a virtual environment. And that would be python3 hyphen m v and v and the name of the virtual environment so i am going to name it requests underscore v and v i hit enter if this command doesn't throw any error that means the virtual environment is successfully created all right it says we noticed a new environment has been created do you want to select it for the workspace folder yes and there you go i think the virtual environment is created yes it has been created now within the bin folder, there is an executable known as activate. We are going to source it to activate the virtual environment. So we are going to write source dot forward slash requests underscore V and V forward slash bin forward slash activate. I hit enter and there you go. My virtual environment is active. Now it's time to install the requests library. So we are going to install it using pip. So I'm going to write pip install requests. I hit enter and the installation has begun. Ooh, it ended in a flash as well. Now we are going to test the installation of the requests library by writing a simple program. So first we are going to import the requests library. To do that, we'll write import requests. All right, now we are going to use the get method of the requests module to get a response from a URI. So we are going to write response equals to requests dot get and within the brackets within single quotes we are going to write a URI. So let it be https api dot github dot com. All right. Now we are going to write the code to print the URL using the response object. So it will be response dot URL. Okay. And we are going to print the status code as well. So let it be print response dot status code. Okay. So first, this program is going to print the URL, which is going to be the same as this URI. And then it is going to print the status code as 200 because the status code 200 indicates that request was made successfully. So let's run this program and check the output. There you go. It printed the URL and the status code as 200. So this proves that we have successfully installed requests library in Visual Studio Code. Now you can start developing applications using the requests module in Visual Studio Code. With this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed learning how to install the requests library in Visual Studio Code from this video of Joey's Tech. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, goodbye and take very good care of yourself.